after applying the degrees on the market we will have the high and the low dates right like this is the low this is the high this is the low and this is the high and lastly this is the low that is how the actual cycle work is done hello everyone this is john from gan trading and i welcome you all to the gan field i'm gonna share something that has never been shared on the internet before how does gan's time cycle actually work i mean this is the question right in this particular video i'll give you the proper understanding of how wd gan's time cycle actually work this video is gonna be very informative so have patience and stay with me i'm telling you once again after watching this video you will have a proper and clear understanding of time cycles so let's get started first let's have a basic understanding of the time cycles number 1 is planetary time cycles and number 2 is lov which means law of vibration we will only talk about the planetary time cycles why not lov well it's just because it's a different level thing uh, as far as i know there are only three people in the world who knows the lov so we have to pass this all right let's take a look at the classification of planetary time cycles we can classify the planetary time cycles by the shorter time cycles and the bigger time cycles now what are the shorter time cycles what does it mean right shorter time cycles can produce forecast that will give turning points at the market after days or weeks mostly uh, it's used to catch the short moves at the market what are the examples the lunar cycle also known as the moon cycle and the lr cycle number 2 is bigger time cycles bigger time cycles can produce forecast that will give turning points at the market after weeks months or even a year mostly it's used to catch the bigger moves at the market what are the examples Ma'am, Mary the Angel of Mercy, Tokyo J1. Now, moving to the next step, you need four elements to work with the time cycle. All right? Number 1 is planet or planets. Number 2 is the length of the cycle or cycle length. Number 3 is starting point or anchoring point. where the cycle will start from and number 4 is the correct ratios well at that point i'm going to share some very very confidential informations with you so stay with me if we talk about the planet or planets you will be working with two types of planetary values uh one will be side real value and uh, another will be synodic value right uh, what is uh, the side real value it's the single planet's movement data and the synodic value will be like more than one planet or multiple planets correlated movement data right in today's video we will be working with the lunar time cycle which is a single planet cycle well everyone makes the same mistake while working with the lunar time cycle they actually use the lunar phase cycle which is 29.5 days to calculate the lunar time cycle and to make their forecast but as i have told you earlier 
lunar time cycle is a single planet cycle in that case we need the sidereal value we need the sidereal value of the moon right if you go to the google and search for the sidereal value of the moon it will provide you the sidereal value which is 27.321 all right this is the actual value this is what you need to work with all right now moving forward to the next element which is length of the cycle so the length of the cycle the cycle length uh, is the base of the cycle so you must have the actual length of the particular cycle what you are working with all right and another thing which is very very important is not the days it's degrees what you need to work with all right if you don't use the actual degrees or use days instead of degrees your cycle won't work properly after a short period of time and that my dear friend no one will tell you all right those who are talking about the length in days are lying they're totally lying it's not correct I am sure they don't even know the cycle properly. When you will be working with the smaller cycles, 1 degree. Forget 1 degree, 0 0.1 degree will come as a big issue for you. A cycle work is very sensitive. While working with the cycles, you will face some critical situations. Now tell me, if you use days instead of degrees, how will you be able to overcome the problem? You know, cycle work is a continuous process. If you have the accurate degree, you will be able to forecast the market till the last day your particular market stands. Moving to the next point, which is a starting point or anchoring point. While working with the cycle, you must have an actual starting point or anchoring position. If you don't find or have the anchor right, your cycle won't work. It will take you a lot of time and effort to find the correct anchor. You have to backtest a lot in that particular point. You can't just start forecasting from anywhere in an instrument. Now, the last and the most important thing is to have the correct ratios for your cycle work. Every time cycle works in a rhythm, you know, the ratios are the rhythm of a time cycle. If you don't have the ratios correct, you will face a big problem finding the turning points at the market. With the correct ratios, you will be able to forecast your market with up to 90% accuracy. So, what do you think? You got it? No. Let me tell you a truth. If you are highly dedicated and hardworking, you may find the planet or planets of a cycle and also the length of the cycle, but you won't be able to find the anchor and the ratios. The only way you may get it from a true mentor who actually knows it. That's why I call it a generational process. You will only get the knowledge if a true GAN analyst agrees to teach you. Now this is what we all are waiting for. How the actual time cycle works. Alright, let's get started. Cycle and circle, these two things are interconnected to each other. A circle is measured by degrees. It begins from 0 degree and ends at 360 degrees, right? As I have told you guys earlier, to work with a cycle, we need four elements, right? So, here are our elements. 
element number one is the planet which is lunar a single planet cycle next element is the length so let's assume our length is 180 degree element number three will be the starting point all right let's assume our cycle starts from zero degree and the last and the final element is the ratios and let's assume the ratios are 50 degree and 40 degree in order to understand it easily let's measure the time cycle in a straight line first so this is a straight line imagine the straight line as a time cycle what starts from zero degree as the starting point and ends at 180 degrees as the length so the total length of the cycle will be 180 degrees now let's apply the ratios in the straight line or in the market or in the cycle our ratios were 50 and 40 degrees so our starting point will be 0 degree and let's apply the ratios first we will take 50 degrees this is a move of 50 degrees then 40 degrees this is a 40 degrees move total 90 degrees which is actually half of our total length now again a move of 50 degrees from here on a move of 40 degrees and finally our cycle ends here at 180 degrees after applying the degrees on the market we will have the high and the low dates right like this is the low this is the high this is the low and this is the high and lastly this is the low that is how the actual cycle work is done now let's interconnect the time cycle with the circle at that point we will bend the straight line over the circle when the cycle length is 180 right so this is a circle which has 360 degrees imagine the straight line bending over the circle all right so this is the starting point zero degree and this is the ending point 180 degree so that will be our time cycle it's half revolution of a circle now let's imagine the length is not 180 degree it's 630 degrees in that case our planet will be same uh, starting point will be same zero degree ratios will be same just the length will be changed right so this is the starting point this is the ending point 630 degrees our total length of the cycle would be 630 degrees now let's apply the ratios from 0 to 50 degrees it's a move of 50 degrees from 50 to 90 degrees it's a move of 40 degrees and from 90 degrees it will be another move of 50 degrees uh, from this point a move of 40 degrees so at that point we are at 180 degrees now again 50 degrees move 40 degrees move from here another move of 50 degrees 40 degrees move 50 degrees move 40 degrees move 50 degrees move 40 50 40 this is the ending point of the cycle which is 630 degrees and now what do you got we got the high and lows of the market this is the high this is the low this is the high this is the low that's the high that's the low high low high low high low high low that's your time cycle now let's interconnect the time cycle with the circle again at that point we will be bending the straight line over the circle again 
when the cycle length is 630 degrees not 180 it's 630 degrees so this is the circle which is 360 degrees and now our cycle length what is actually 630 degree imagine that 630 degrees bending over the circle so this is the starting point which is actually 0 degree from that point our cycle starts from and it's going 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 over the circle at that point our cycle has just completed one revelation of a circle or one revelation of 360 degree but our cycle still continues till it reaches 630 degrees so let's continue and finally we have reached at the ending point which is 630 degrees right and so that is now our time cycle and from that point where our first cycle has ended a new cycle will start so technically it's a new starting point it will be a new starting point of a whole new cycle and the new cycle will end at 630 plus 630 and that will be 1260 degrees why it's just because now our starting point is 630 degrees let's have a visual from here our new cycle starts from all right so from here to here it will be 360 degrees we still need to go 270 degrees so 270 degrees will be here that will be our ending point which is actually 1260 degrees okay and that process will continue continue till the last day the market stands hope this video will show you a whole new path in the right direction and thank you for being with me i'm john signing out from gain trading have a nice day.